the amount of times I have forgotten to press play on this thing is so bad and so annoying. I can't stop. Again, this is another pronunciation that I'm not quite sure of. Um, somebody's channel, Kamal Jara, I think. Um, he made a video recently about unicorns and how much he hates them to like a John Green standard of hate and it reminded me of the fact that in Scotland our national animal is unicorns <laughs> and I have no idea why so I thought I would make this video in order to educate you but also educate myself in why the hell our national animal is the unicorn. One of the first things I came across when looking up was that a lot of people say that the red lion is also the national animal along with the unicorn but I think that might be a bit wrong. The national animal is only the unicorn but the red lion is what's on our the unofficial national flag. The national flag is the saltire which is what everyone knows is like the white diagonal cross on a blue background. The first thing that I find on the unicorn, unicorn of Scotland, like the first thing that reads is it's a very unlikely choice <laughs> apparently because like, Scotland isn't very exotic in its views and culture. I don't understand what that actually means, how Scotland isn't exotic. It's not the fact that, that, that it isn't exotic, it's the fact that it doesn't seem to be exotic. Scottish culture is full of superstitions and myths. Apparently, in Celtic mythology, the unicorn of Scotland symbolised innocence and purity, healing powers, joy and sometimes life itself. But it was also seen as a symbol of masculinity and power. So it's kind of like two sides of the same coin. So apparently the unicorn is like a perfect mix of male virility and female nurturing which I think is quite cool. On the modern coat of arms for Britain, you will see a unicorn and a lion. Apparently doing this to the coat of arms symbolised the union of the countries, but the actual union was less than friendly than that. There's a well-known British nursery rhyme, which I've never heard before, about this. The lion and the unicorn were fighting for the crown. The lion chased the unicorn all around the town. Some gave them white bread, some gave them brown. Some gave them plum cake and drummed them out of town. There's a really well-known description of the Scottish unicorn. Some have made doubts whether there be any such beast as this or no, but the great esteem of his horn, in many places to be seen, may take away that needless scruple. The greatness of his mind is such that he rather chose of to die than be taken alive, wherein the unicorn and the valiant-minded soldier are alike, which both contendeth, and rather than they will be compelled to undergo any base servitude or bondage, they will lose their lives. So apparently they were impossible to capture alive, except for when they were lured into an ambush by a virgin, which was where the whole um, virgin thing came from with uh, unicorns. So yeah, that was a little bit on the Scottish unicorn. Bye. I'm not good at editing yet. Hopefully I'll be getting into a course which will make me better all this editing stuff. But till that I won't be able to edit anything into the videos because I have no idea how. And I'm still using um, Windows Movie Maker which apparently is like on a par with iMovie I think. Oh. <laughs> I need to learn how to talk. This is why I don't usually do educational videos because I'm, especially when I'm trying to learn things at the same time, because I'm not very good at getting information across.